So in this video, I'm going to show you how to go and edit your hero tiles. So these are your big shiny tiles that are on your uh, communication site that you've hopefully created. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to click on the edit button in the top right hand corner. This then takes you into edit mode. Um, and then the next thing you need to do is then you need to click anywhere on that particular web part um, to edit the tiles. Once you've done that, you'll see uh, you've got the option then to uh, do different things here with this black menu bar. Uh, you could delete that web part if you wanted to, you can duplicate it, you can move it around to a different area of the, of the page if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, but in this instance, we're only going to edit it. So you can click edit web part and then the first thing you can then do is you can then say how many tiles you want. So if, for example, you wanted five tiles, you could go and add that. If you only want four, that's great. Um, in this instance here, I might say, actually, now I've got duplicate images there. I want to change this existing one. So, um, so to do uh, an edit on any of these tiles, you just click on the one you want to edit, and then you'll see that you get given this little um, uh, menu bar as well. So you can move these around as well. So if you wanted weekly updates to appear there, um, you can sort of use those little arrows there. Um, to go and edit the individual tile, you just click on the edit details and then here you'll get uh, this menu on the right hand side so you get the option to change the link so in this instance here i know there's a page uh, called uh, weekly update in there on my page somewhere or update to the company should i say so that's the page i now want this to direct to um, i can then give it a title so you know it could be our company Uh, company weekly update um, or title that means that to you uh, you can toggle that on or off as well so if you do have a an image that's already got text in the image then you may not need that title uh, in this case i do um, but yeah you can choose to turn it off and then when i select image i've got a few options there now so uh, the first easiest one by far is a color block you don't have to go hunting for images it will uh, bring in the color from the, the theme that's been applied to your site uh, the next option is auto selective, which is also uh, easy as well, because what that will do is it will pull in the image that's on that page uh, if that page will exist. So this is going to somewhere else on my site that I've already created. So you can see that that's got a coffee cup and tissues uh, if I wanted to use that. Uh, I could also use a custom image as well. So if I click on custom image, in this instance I do, uh, I can upload my own image. So all you then need to do is you click on upload. Um, and then you just pick an image that, that means something to you. So in this instance here, it might be a nice uh, update for washing our hands. So I'm going to pick that image there. And there you go, um, it's added that page. Now all you need to do is to make sure that change is saved uh, is just click on the little X. Um, once you're good to go, you click republish and then that's you know, then your, your hero tiles updated. So nice easy way to update your, your page pretty quickly.